Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dee, for anyone who's new here, and I'm an avid thrifter and reseller. I resell on YouTube every Saturday at three o'clock Eastern, Mercari and eBay. So welcome to anyone new, and welcome back to all of my current friends. Today's video is a thrift haul video from Goodwill and Salvation Army. All I can say is holy shiznit on my Salvation Army trip. Yes, I spent a lot of money. You may figure out why when I show you one of the items that I purchased. What are you doing, Sophie? She's playing in the plastic bag. <laughs> All right, without further ado, let's get into this thrift haul, shall we? So I'm going to do Goodwill first because I'm going to make y'all sweat to see why I spent so much money at Salvation Army. All right. Now at Goodwill, I spent $84. $84. What did I get for $84, you might ask? Well, you're about to find out. I got this adorable uh, trivet with the strawberry design on it. And it's made in England by H&R Johnson Limited. Uh, you are hearing my cuckoo bird Fritz. That's his name. We, we all named him. Well, actually, I asked everybody for ideas for his name, but then I ended up settling on Fritz, which is what I picked. <laughs> But anywho, <laughs> so there is one item. Now, I bought this little gal and I know she's damaged and I don't care because I will fix her and she'll look like brand new. I bought this little April Angel so you could see the tip of her wing is missing and her flower is pretty damaged there. So I'm gonna figure out what I will do with that flower. But I just couldn't resist her and I got her and she's made by Lefton. So, you know, why add something to the landfill when I can fix her up and sell her? So, yes. Okay, then I got this. I have been really um, finding some great patriotic decor Look at this cool piece. Oh my gosh, I love it. And of course, um, now it does hang on the wall. It has a, oh, well, there was something here. Oh no, that's the rudder. That's the rudder, um, or not the rudder. I don't remember what they call that. But anyways, it has a hook on the back for hanging on the wall, but you can also sit it on a table or a shelf as well. So I will probably pair this with maybe a couple other items and sell it as a lot. Um, that's what I'm thinking. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I did get this beautiful little dish. Now it does have a chip on the underside. And again, I don't care. Um, you know, I let everyone know if something has damage and it's up to them if they would like to buy it or not. And especially if it's underneath, you're not even going to see it. This is made in Austria. And it's this beautiful basket with purple and pink flowers on the inside. How pretty is that? Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I'll show you where the damage is. It's right there. No biggie. 
Looks like it's part of the pattern. So, <laughs> who cares, right? It's not going in the landfill. I found this gorgeous Virgin Mary planter. Just got to clean her up a little bit. And she's just marked Japan. Very little bit of the sticker left with the important information on it. <laughs> but yeah, so I got her. Um, I got this. This is so cute. <laughs> Look at it. So I'm thinking, you know, you could fill this up with the fake snowballs for a decor piece. Or you could store maybe um, cookies in here, you know, in a plastic bag. Or, I mean, you could do whatever with it. You could put a big bottle brush tree in here. I mean, how cute is this? Oh, I could not resist it. Could not resist it. I loved it. I think it's adorable. I got another set of these Temptations little mini um, loaf pans. Got a set of three. So we've got the white background with the red reindeer and then the red background with the white reindeer. I can't believe I said that without screwing it up. And then this one is snowflakes. And again, these are temptations. And these temptations um, is not cheap, okay? Just saying. Then for myself, I got myself a couple pair of uh, navy blue fleece lined um, leggings. And I got, I bought uh, black ones from Goodwill as well. And I love them. They fit great. They're warm. Y'all know I live in New York State. In fact, I was just outside shoveling because we got snow. So those are for me. Ugh. Okay, I got a couple light up pieces. Um, they were new in their boxes and attached like to the box, but I took them out so that I could put batteries in them and show you. See, all this stuff is sticking. But anyways, how cute is this? Now, there's no music or anything, but it's just an animated little Christmas scene with the gingerbread. And I love it. I will pick these things up all day long, every day. So we got that one. And then I got this one. This one is called a, a tree farm. Wait a minute. Okay, it's supposed to stay on. Why isn't it staying on? Is it because I still have this thing attached to it? This um, try me button? Well, anyways, this is what it looks like lit up. May I might have took the batteries out. I can't remember. <laughs> But look how cute. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, I love it. So I got that piece. Hmm. Okay. So there's that. The only issue with it is some of the snow is coming off the roof. But I could actually fix that. It's not a big deal. You just put a little glue or a little white paint and then sprinkle glitter while the paint's wet. Done. Done deal. Okay, this is very cool. This is very cool. Would you guys look at this amazing turkey? And it looks like it's made out of like driftwood or something. I mean, this wood is as smooth as a baby's bottom. 
I mean, how cool is this turkey? Oh my word, I have never seen anything like it. I just thought it was so rustic, primitive, whatever you want to call it. I just fell in love with it. I know, I know someone will love it as much as I do. This is the coolest thing. Comes in its own, it's in its box. Now it does work. I did have batteries in it and I forgot to put the batteries back in so I could show you guys. This is a narrative nativity. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem, there came wise men saying, we have followed his star in the east and have come to worship him. The coolest thing I've ever seen. Is that not the coolest thing ever? O-M-G. You know I was getting this. Heck yeah. This is awesome. Uh, let me see. Is there a year on here? This actually came from Family Dollar. And I think it's awesome. But I don't see a date. It does have a barcode and everything, so... Hmm. Whatever. It's a cool item. That's why I got it. <laughs> Very cool. And then I got this set of three uh, LED lighted trees. They are glass, and I think they're so, so pretty. Let me take one out and show you. Oh, look how pretty. Okay, it said, didn't it say? Oh no, they're just glass trees with color changing LED lights. All right, I don't see any LED lights. What are they talking about? There are no LED lights. Well, that's weird. Where's where's the lights? I have no idea. No lights. There are no lights. Hmm. <laughs> so, there must have been a base or something that came with this. And the base is not here. But the trees are still very pretty just on their own. But... Yeah, because it says each tree requires three AG-13 batteries. Yeah, I have no clue. But anyways, I got those. Then I got another adorable sled, which I will do something with, unless somebody likes it plain like this. Very, very cute. It's in fantastic condition as well. Um, and then I got this, this mirror, but I'm not, I'm not going to keep it as a mirror. I am going to paint over the mirror and I am going to do something with it. So that was my reason for buying it. And I mean, the hanger is to hang it the long ways. But I will, de depending on what I put in here, um, I can always add um, 
another hanger so that it hangs this way. So then I got this awesome Lazy Susan in the octagon shape and works great. So this is going to be a thrift flip and perhaps I will do a video on this. I just might. So, and then, oh my God, you guys. So, this last item, I went to an estate sale and bought a beautiful needlepoint picture. Someone, they had, they had the matching one that went to it in another room in the house, but they wanted like three times more money for that one than the one I bought, so I didn't buy it. Well, guess what? I know damn well that this is the other one. And who, when, when you see this, the person that bought it is gonna know, they're gonna know, I can't remember who bought it, but it is the, the, the match to the other one that I purchased and sold. I could not believe it. So there you go. <laughs> you never know what you're going to find. You just don't. I, I said last item, but it's not. I have two more items. I found this adorable cross stitch. It's a little snowman runner. For those of you that enjoy doing um, cross stitch. So that's why I bought it. <clears throat> Now this is my last item. Speaking of patriotic things, I love this. I just think it's so cute. So I, I may lot this with, with the bolt. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. So guys, that's everything from sell or uh, from Goodwill. Got quite a bit from from Goodwill and what did I say I spent $84? That's not bad at all, but I left a lot behind, a lot. Unfortunately. So, oh this goes in here. All right. Now, moving on to Salvation Army. <laughs> I spent, I can't believe, I can't believe I spent this. You guys are going to like poop your pants because there's hardly anything sitting here. All right. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah, those are, these were from Salvation Army as well. All right, let me put these over here. I'm going to, I'll tell you what I spent when I'm done. Okay? All right. I want you guys to put your best guess in the comments of what you think I spent. Then I'm going to go through and I'm going to read the comments and see who was the closest. <laughs> All right. I got this uh, set of two Mikasa frames. I believe these are like two by two or, you know, I think that's what they are, two by two. It's not marked on it, but they are Mikasa. Very pretty. So I picked up those. I've, I had one of these before, and I actually had it in my bathroom for a long while. Um, I love it, and I just, I love the colors and everything. It's called Rite of Spring, and it's um, a toothbrush holder. Unfortunately, it didn't have the matching, you know, soap dish or soap pump or anything like that. But I just thought it was gorgeous, and I had to grab it. 
And if you didn't want to use it for toothbrushes, you could put pens or pencils in there or paint brushes, whatever. So I picked up that. Then I got this, uh, look at this mug. Okay, so first of all, the color is fabulous. It's like a butter yellow. And it has all these little daisies. And then there's a bunny inside. <laughs> How cute is that? Oh my gosh. And it's in excellent condition. And it's made by Grasslands Road. It says hand wash only. Oh my gosh, I had to get it. That is adorable. All right, let's see. Uh, all right, let's do this. I got this beautiful. Hold on. Oh, shiznit. Oh, okay, I'm pretty PO'd right now. I did not take this out of the carrier. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty pissed right now. I'm take I'm going to take this back. I'm going to take it back and I'm going to tell them, look it. You can't be selling stuff that's damaged like that for the price that you asked for. I'm I'm really aggravated. I'm taking that back. Pardon me. Pardon me. I'm a little PO'd right now. I'm going to take a break for a second. I'll be right back. Alrighty then. Um, I did get this vintage purse. This purse is in fabulous condition. The inside is like suede. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. So I picked up that. I got this vintage um, perfume uh, tray. It's got some pretty um, details on the uh, uh, rim or whatever you want to call it. Um, I really I have to... I'm going to have to clean this glass with um, a scrubby because I can't, I can't get all that schmuck off of there, schmutz. But yeah, uh, here's the, the back. So I got that. And then I got this. This is uh, Bavaria, and y'all know I love pansies. Very pretty. I got this. This is, um, I got this for me for my SOS pads. Look, it's a green pepper. <laughs> right now I have my SOS pad in a yogurt cup. So I figure this would be a little bit more pleasing to the eye. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But anyways, <laughs> okay, um, I got this. Now, he's got a little um, chip, but as I said, that's an easy fix. He's like one of those mid-century modern cats. It's ceramic, and see, he's got a chip right here, but I will touch that up, and no one will be the wiser. He's cute. I mean, of course, I'm going to tell people, but, you know, people are not going to come in your house and say, oh, I could tell there was a chip on there and you fixed it. That's what I meant. <laughs> okay, then I got this little guy. This is made in Korea. Look at this guy. With the bunny. Oh, my goodness. And it is in perfect condition. 
He's holding a flower. And I think the stem of the flower was broken off. But no one will know. <laughs> Actually, I had thought about using this in, um, in an assemblage or something. But we'll see. We shall see. But there is the Made in Korea sticker on the bottom. Uh, I got this. This is beautiful. Now, it's not marked except with numbers, but to me, it looks like um, a Czechoslovakian piece. Look at this. I'm, I'm going to call this a ewer. How beautiful is that? Look at that handle. Oh my gosh. It is just beautiful. I'll show you the bottom. I love this piece. I think it's gorgeous. Oh my. I did grab this. This is a very pretty uh, shabby chic ceramic picture frame. It's five by seven. Look how pretty that is. I just love it. It's so dainty and feminine. I love that one. I did get this. Um, I'm not a big fan of the shells and the, the beads hanging off of it, but um, I would do nothing to this. I would sell it just the way it is. Really nice um, pillar candle holder. So we got that. Then I got this. This is really cool. Look at this, you guys. How cool is this? Oh my goodness. I could not resist that. I just love unique things. And I just thought that was so cool. Had to pick that up. Had to. I bought this um, small rolling pin. So I'm thinking, now this has, um, I don't know if that, what the heck that is. It's got designs on it. I'm not quite sure what it is, but my thought was that I could fill in all of that and make it smooth um, and then do an upcycle on it. So I'm not sure what I'm doing with that yet. Then I got these. These are going to be uh, for thrift flip. Got these two um, metal trays. They're not silver plated or anything. They're just silver trays. And I'm going to uh, do a thrift flip on these. So I think my my idea is I am going to try, I am going to try and film one thrift flip video a week. I'm going to try. Now, y'all know I have a full plate between doing YouTube and live sales and babysitting and eBay and Mercari. I'm a little busy, <laughs> but... I am really going to try and do one thrift flip video a week for you guys. So these will probably be in one of those videos. All right. My last couple of items, guys. I did get um, an Ellie Smith, and it has its original sticker right there on the inside. This beautiful amber moon and stars basket. Um, it's in fantastic condition. There's, there's no issues with it at all.
My last item, y'all. I did save the best for last and the most expensive for last. You saw how Salvation Army's prices are starting to go up through the roof. I have eight of these. Fire King Lotus Pattern Jadeite Salad or Luncheon Plates. Eight of them. They are all in perfect condition. Eight of them. And yeah, okay. So that's everything. $198.45. Yep. Y'all can go change your pants now. Because I had to change my pants when I left the store. $198.45. Yep. I know I need my head examined. I'm taking a chance on these jadeite plates. Um, but... I'm going to see if I can make some kind of a profit from these plates. If I have them in a live sale, I am going to uh, sell them as two sets of four plates. And they will be offer ups. If I don't put them in a live sale, I will be putting them on eBay. I'm not sure for what price yet. But this is going to be some interesting comments. I already know. So y'all, get them fingers typing. I want to hear what you think. Be nice. <laughs> All right, guys. That's going to do it for this thrift haul video. I told you you were going to be surprised. Yes, surprise. <laughs> All right, guys, take care, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.